What's going on guys, Ezum here. And today we're gonna to be talking about tunnel vision. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. If you see a person and you're constantly hitting, missing, hitting, missing, and you might finally eventually eliminate them, have you ever looked around that person that you're shooting at? Because there could be multiple players around that person, but you're so tunnel vision that you might not see them because you wanna get that kill so badly. And when you're so focused on shooting that one person, you'll never know. That, my friends, is tunnel vision. Okay, in this game, I can kind of give you a prime example of tunnel vision. And it's not always about tunnel vision because you, you never know when that person afar is shooting at you. You don't know if the person if, and the, that's closer to you that they're missing is under a ridge, behind a tree, or any kind of like obstruction that the other guy cannot see. And that, you know, there's some justification, in this, which is why I go back into these replays and I review my replays and I kind of get more information on this. That way I'm comfortable with, uh, with knowing that. That way I can also better myself in, you know, in some ways. But you, you never know. Any, you can't know all the information, all right? <laughs> There's just no way. You can't know all the information. But, all right, so we have uh, me and my partner up here. That's, you know, that's, that's good. Then we have these two guys, uh, Rich and... Uh, Whatever, whatever, I'm not gonna say his name, okay? That's that's bait. That is that is highly bait. All right, so they come down. I think they're going to eliminate this guy because we only see these two uh, people at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Okay, all right. So they get the kill on that dude, which is important for us to look in the kill feed, but we don't know their name. So yeah, right now we're shooting at them. We uh, we lit one up. But as you know, the circle is coming in in 13 seconds. We are already in the circle. They are they are on the very, very edge of the circle. And shots back and forth. They light me up. He... Okay, so he freaking shot once, hit me in the head. That I was like, yeah. Yeah, people don't miss in this game, bro. If they, When they do, it's probably because uh, they have a bad... They're having a bad day in terms of... Uh, uh, I, I don't know what. But these guys are on Adderall. I swear. Anyway, now they have to move to us, right? We have a good position. We're close to the circle, but we keep shooting. We're, we're constantly shooting at them. They have to make a decision. But at any moment in time, the more we shoot, the more that we can get caught up by other people. Like, you know, well, these guys are in a compound, so you know they're not going to move. But what happens if, uh, you know, they had to move out? And uh, this this right here was the end circle, right? So the more we're firing up here, tunneling, this is a prime example of tunnel vision, but in our case, we're trying to eliminate them before they can get across. And well, unluckily they, they, they uh, you know, get all the way across because we suck. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's in our best interest to try and eliminate a team. That way we have one less team to worry about. And there's always no kind of justifying uh, tunnel vision but in our case, you know, that's my justification for it. And, you know, these, these guys at any time, can, well, they can't really see us at the moment. So we have a tree right here, a ridge right here. So I don't think anybody can see us, trees and stuff in the way. And we were originally going to go and fight these guys in the compound. But I was like, leave it because we can give away our position. And it's just hard to push something like that. And as you see, they're, they're constantly getting through. This guy got lit up really badly. He almost died, and um, they keep pushing, and eventually uh, they'll get they'll get about up here, and they're behind the circle. We're we're shooting at them, still tunneled. This is a prime example of tunnel vision. Like we will not leave them alone. But as I said, in our case, we're trying to eliminate them before they can eliminate us, or you know, get further down into the zone. And well, they let my partner up. We have to leave. So I eventually, um, the reason why I threw the smoke was because I figured they were going to push us, but they eventually went wide right, uh, which was, uh, yeah, to my right as well. And I, I, I pretty much called that. I said, well, if they're not coming up here to push us, they, they went this way. And sure enough, they did. Uh, we're, we're all behind the circle taking damage because of, uh, well, of our tunnel vision on these guys. We didn't get the elimination, and it, you know, it's a sad day. I use DMRs today. This is a game from today. I use DMRs, and 
I don't know whether or not I've just been playing this game too much and I'm just kind of exhausted and I just need to recoup until Monday or it's just the fact that uh, my, uh, you know, I just did not have the juice today to, uh, you know, succeed in shots. But if I had a sniper rifle, trust me, I would have owned these guys. All right. I would have. But they're out here proned out. We didn't get the elimination on them. So we're back and doing our own thing. And that the, back there was kind of a prime example of tunnel vision. Like we were constantly focused on them. We didn't, we never looked at our surroundings to see if people were going to push us or anything. So, but also it could go, it can uh, actually go into, uh, into play where if we were constantly shooting at them and there's someone around them or closer, uh, closer to us, but we still tunnel vision and shot at them constantly. Well, that's what I'm explaining to you. The more you tunnel on someone and the more you shoot at them, you might as well, if you cannot get the elimination, well, you can see where they go, of course, and follow them and just see that if you won't get pushed by them and just kind of like go on your, your way or try to get circle position and then, and then try and kill them. Right now, it seems like one of them got knocked and uh, they're fighting this compa the compound people. Uh, right now we are trying to get position. And like I said earlier, if we had stopped shooting at them, we would already, we've already been through this position and we would have, would have already gotten position. We would have already tried to fight these guys, win or lose. I don't know. And we wouldn't have been in the position we got into right now. So we're right out in the open. We don't know these guys are up there because they're in the bushes. My teammates get shot by them. And then I smoke him out. It was a good play on my part. But somehow they still get the shots off. And I'm still shooting, shooting. Constantly, constantly shooting, missing. <laughs> I miss a lot of this game, but um, I, you know, I eventually give up. I do not know these guys are in here, right? And uh, I eventually give up my shooting because I don't want to get owned by them. Not knowing these guys are in here, I get eliminated by the people who are just sitting there waiting. And, and you know, scared to do any Like, these guys right here... Are a prime example of, of, yeah, bunker down, of course. You know, you got some strategy. You're in the circle. You bunker down in a compound. But this isn't comp, right? In comp, you would most likely go into a, a, a field of foliage or next to something. Or, you know, you would bunker down in a, in a compound. But also, you would try to, like, peek out. If they peeked out right here and shot us, we would have we would have been dead. There, there would have been no way. Now, if the other guy had opened this door right here uh, prior and then peeked this way, kind of like looked around the compound, they would have found these dudes and killed them. Like these guys had a really good position, but they did not thoroughly use it. And But this isn't the point of uh, what I'm trying to make in tunnel vision, right? So we go back here to the position where we were fighting these guys. Yeah, this this is kind of a good play to just shoot. They're, they're, they have no cover. You know, they're running. And eventually they're gonna they're gonna be running from the circle. We have position, but I, I say when they got about to around you know rotating far this way, we should have just given up, gone through the circle, gone and got a better position in terms of predicting where the circle would have gone. But this is kind of a good example of tunnel vision. And honestly, later later down the line, it did cost us the win. It also cost us to lose meds while we're in the blue because now we have to move away from the blue since it's coming in, going to consume us when we are still fighting these guys. Like I, there is no, like I said, there is no shame in running running away from a fight. Like technically not running away, but backing up, retreating, recouping getting your surroundings in a different area get, or getting familiar with your surroundings in a different area. There is no shame in doing that. And that leads to survivability. That leads to you getting a potential win. In this case, we're running after fighting so long and wasting utilities. What we could have used in the circle uh, later on. And well, I think tunnel us tunnel vision like that costs us the game. And it's honestly a shame. I am embarrassed by this gameplay. But at the same time, you know, trying to get, go for a kill, eliminate, and you know, it's it's something of a of a need in, in uh, I guess these uh, type of games. But 
that's kind of what I wanted to get down and dirty with uh, with you guys and try to and try to explain why this might not be a good idea at any point in time, especially in a team game. For example, one of us could have been sh shooting, another one, uh, another one could have been looking around, making sure we're not getting pushed. If you know we confirm that we're not getting pushed at that time, I can go back and start shooting at the guys with him. But in this in this scenario we didn't exactly work together on it we just shot at him tunnel vision and then repositioned but i wanted to reposition around the compound but it just ended up the compound was, it's just in our in our position the compound was kind of the best choice uh because the circle was all the way over there but that's what i wanted to explain that way i give you guys the information that it, that way it sits in your brain and you know oh wow okay so Maybe next time I'll make sure if I'm shooting at someone, I'll look around them, make sure no one's closer to me. If I'm still shooting at the same person further away, there's no one closer to, you know, around him or anything that I could see. Then I might have to double check behind me, make sure I'm not getting, uh, sh you know, potentially pushed. And in solos, this is, kind of, this is very important in solos. When you constantly shoot at someone and shoot and shoot and shoot and you don't move uh, uh, constantly, then someone can easily come up on you and then take you out because you're so focused on killing someone far away that you're not paying attention to your surroundings. But like I said, that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. Just, you know, show off what my knowledge is in terms of tunnel vision. And I did hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and sub and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.